Welcome to this special throwback edition of the CSRM podcast. In these special episodes, we travel back to the 2016 Reach Gathering where Dr. Greg Linville interviewed some CSRM pioneers about the history and mission of CSRM. Today's interview is with longtime CSRM board member, Rich Green. Welcome back here to Reach 2016. We're doing a lot of our interviews with our CSRM family, and we've actually just ended up, we're done. We are. And we just had the Lord's Supper with about 20 people from nine different countries. And so we're kind of flying high, and you're getting ready to fly, yeah, literally. Yep. You're getting ready to go home. And Rich Green is with me right now. Rich. Has, has I don't know if this is a distinction or a dubious distinction of having served on the CSRM board three separate times. Yes, I have. A fine line between commitment and foolishness. And I don't know which, <laughs> which way I go there, but yeah. And not only has he been on the board, but he has also been the president of CSRM. And, and your campaign speech was? President of the common man. It and served me well. And, and we, we, uh, we joke a lot, and Rich obviously has a great sense of humor, and it's one of the things people really love about you. And yet, there's, a, there's this incredible, wise, insightful man. And Rich, tell us, how, how did you get involved with CSRN? W where did that start? Uh, well, there were some guys in the Indianapolis area that were resourcing uh, folks that were new into sports ministry in the local church, uh, to some of the initial CSRM conferences. And uh, so I got a chance to go up to Moody College in Chicago. I believe it was 96, 97, something like that. And uh, just fell in love with the organization, the connection that I had with people that were like-minded in sports ministry. Um, I'd come out of the background of fellows from Christian athletes, but local church sports ministry was something new to me. So just exciting to be inspired by others who are trekking the same journey that you are. So. And th there, that was a time and place where there were some folks in Indiana that really right. wanted to invest in this. Right. And they sponsored a number of folks like yourself. And today, Indiana probably has as much local church sports ministry as any state in the country. And it goes back to 20 years ago when people invested in it. Yeah, I would say that when they invested in me and my ministry, there was maybe three or four right. s church sports ministries going on. Um, when I left Indianapolis, I'm in Texas now in Dallas, but when I left Indianapolis, there were probably 15 to 16 right. just in the Indianapolis metro area. That's right. So pretty powerful movement. And you got involved you've influenced lots of folks in indianapolis and now in texas and on and on and we've had a couple of these interviews already and three or four of them have said rich green was a guy that got got me started and you really have had that influence what Thank you. what what does it how does that come out of you I mean, what 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 drives that I'm just passionate about the vehicle of sports uh to be used for the gospel's sake for kingdom work, I'm passionate about the local church, and I think the partnership, uh, it, it enthralls me, it motivates me, and I love to see when other men and women involved in sports ministry in the local church kind of get it, if you will. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're trying to figure this thing out, and, and, and I love being able to have that opportunity to influence them with the things that God's taught me through both good and bad. Mm -hmm. He's taught me about ministry and about life. Uh, through the vehicle of church sports and recreation. And so it's just exciting for me to watch new people come to a thing like Reach Gathering and, and get inspired and uh, be motivated to do some great things for the kingdom in their local churches. Now, you and I were able to take part in a, a plenary session yesterday that Rod Hanley led on character and being accountable and the kind of things that, that we talk about what we do as sports ministers, but this was really about who we are. And I know that this has been a passion of yours, and you were even very instrumental in getting Rod here in Memphis 14 years ago. Right. And then he comes back, and the four of us sat there yesterday and talked about how important this is. And Rich, this is one of the things that I know that really I appreciate about you deeply is your commitment to Patty, your commitment to your kids, and, and this whole character issue. 
talk a little bit, if you will, about people who are aspiring into sports ministry. Some of, what, what are some of the things that you would give insight and wisdom to? Well, like I, I, I said when, before Rod got, spoke, I, I felt like that was probably the most important message. They were going to get the entire uh, REACH gathering uh, because uh, character integrity uh, is a part of all of who we are. Our personal life, our ministry life, it, it influences and affects our entire life. And, and, and I just mentioned that, you know, you've got to surround yourself with the right people in ministry to keep that balance of family and, and ministry life. And, and uh, I can tell as I go through my life and my ministry history, when I've messed up, when I've had failings, or when I haven't been as successful as I felt like God wanted me to be, I can look at my life and see that I was not surrounded by, by men that, that uh, held me accountable, that discipled me, or I was able to pour into either way. And so I think building our life with the right people in it uh, to not only inspire us, but to really challenge us to be who God's called us to be is critical to successful ministry and a healthy life. You have been really instrumental at least once. There, I, I could talk more about this, but I'm going to refer to it one time CSRM is like many other of our uh, para ministries that are out there, and sometimes you do better than you do other times. And in one of those particular times that that we could have really lost something, we could have maybe even disbanded. You really grabbed hold of it, and you and Dr. Parker and a couple others got together and said, "Wait a minute! All we need to do is do a couple tweaks here, adjust a couple things." And I really think that I get way too much credit for CSRM's whatever success. And I know that it's folks like you. We would not be here today if it wouldn't be for you. CSRM, I honestly believe CSRM would not be in existence if it wouldn't be for you because you have helped. You've, you've gone to your churches. You've raised money. You, you, you've, you've done all these things. Is there anything that you want to comment about how... CSRM needs to operate? What do we need to do? Give us some words of wisdom about where, what we need to do. Well, I, I, I don't have any great wisdom. I, I think I would say that CSRM has a great mission uh, of equipping the local church uh, to change the world through the vehicle sports. And I, I think we just simply need to stick closely to the mission and uh, the, the, message will, the methods will change but the mission never will. Right. It's like the church itself. And so we've got to be culturally relevant. Uh, we've got to stay up with the times, uh, but we've got to stay true to the core of what CSR, CSRM is all about. And that is equipping the local church to transform the world for the kingdom's sake through the vehicle sports. And as long as they do that, uh, then I think CSRM will be a viable part of what God wants to do in, in, in the world, uh, literally around the world. What else, what else is there to say? I think that's, that's brilliant. It. That's all I got anyway. All so. right. All right. Again, we're winding up Reach 2016. Rich, thank you. Thank you. The CSRM Podcast is a production of the Association of Church Sports and Recreation Ministers and their video production house, Overwhelming Victory Flicks. Dr. Greg Linville is the executive producer, and Andrew Fouts is associate producer and editor. For more information about CSRM, visit csrm.org. For more information about Overwhelming Victory, visit overwhelmingvictory.org. The CSRM Podcast is the flagship member of the podcast network, Overwhelming Victory Radio. For more information on Overwhelming Victory Radio, or to listen to our partner podcasts, visit overwhelmingvictory.org backslash OV Radio.